I decided it wasn't going to affect me and that I was just going to live my life and I wasn't going to make any changes. And I went on a backpacking trip up into the Sierras and got into some serious trouble. I've had type 1 diabetes since 1978. Type 1 diabetes requires constant attention. It's a 24-hour disease. Am I going to exercise? What did I eat? When did I last inject? How much did I inject? It's this constant steady stream of information that you're processing that nobody else around you is aware of. But this is what you have to do as a diabetic. It's not just a matter of follow the directions, you know, calculate the things, the numbers, and it's gonna come out right. It's not that simple at all. Insulin is a drug that is prescribed to you that is very easy to overdose if you do not have the correct information. If I guess wrong, I could end up in the emergency room or dead. There are so many factors that influence your blood sugar levels that it's, it's, it's almost impossible to be right all the time. I felt kind of low and I tested my blood sugar, it was 85. 85 is normal, that's perfectly fine but it didn't feel right. So five minutes later, I tested it again. It was 65. 65 is low. If I was about to drive the car then, uh, and it was continuing to go low, I would be in trouble. You can't balance yourself. You fall to the floor, which I did, and you begin what could be perceived as having an epileptic uh, seizure, which is very brief, but uh, scares the hell out of one and anyone that's around you, uh, that happened twice. I've had times when I've gone to bed with a perfectly reasonable blood sugar that should have lasted through the night and it's dropped. And I think I would have had no awareness without the CGM going off in the middle of the night and going off before I'm really in trouble. And it really gives you the comfort of knowing that you will be alerted to the fact that you are near a disastrous point without going through the disaster. It changed my life. It's been the most wonderful thing in the world. I no longer really think about whether I'm going to wake up in the morning. The most important thing that it does that a standard blood glucose meter doesn't do is that it tells me the trend. It tells me if it's going up or down. When you're at 10,000 feet hiking straight up, it's amazing how quickly your blood sugar can drop. And before I had the CGM, I would test every half hour, but even then, it could get away from you. So the CGM's terrific. There was no, no way to know, unless you would stop every 10 minutes, prick your finger, check your blood sugar uh, on a meter, which I would do occasionally simply to know where I am from a blood sugar standpoint, which isn't a particularly nice way to try and enjoy a trip or a vacation. I've done all sorts of things, actually, while I've been a Medicare patient, such as paragliding in Italy, backpacking, climbing Mount Whitney, snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, dog mushing in Alaska, and all of these things are really complicated when you have diabetes. You have to have the knowledge and you have to have the tools. It is so easy to check your blood sugar that I probably check my blood sugar every half an hour. I found the continuous glucose, glucose monitor to be simple to use compared to my insulin pump, compared to a computer, compared to a telephone, all these things that are now part of my normal life. One could say that uh, all a person has to do with diabetes is control the diet exercise, lose weight, all of those things, yes, are very helpful, but none of those things gives you a reading of what your blood sugar is. I find it hard to believe that someone wouldn't think that a CGM is necessary. I can't think of a better way to keep your blood sugar under control, and that not only is good for your personal health, but I would think that it's good for for Medicare, the fewer people that go through the emergency room or have lifelong complications, you know, eye problems, foot problems, these cost incredible amounts of money. And that a device like the CGM costs much less than putting someone on dialysis. 
I know that having a CGM allows me to keep my diabetes in control. I've been diabetic for what, 35, 36, 37 years now, and I haven't had complications. I firmly believe that a glucose monitor is a reasonable and necessary uh, method of helping us to be healthy and to control our diabetes. It's one of the tools we have. Why can't we use it? Just because someone turns 65 years old doesn't mean they are no longer entitled to the best medical care. In fact, as people age and have more health problems, they especially need the best medical care, and they should get it. Why does insurance, if you're not 65, cover the sensor, but suddenly Medicare won't? That makes absolutely no sense. It's totally illogical. It's ridiculous. It's wrong. When you're a diabetic, the diabetes can take over your life. You can do this, you can't do that. You can go here, you can't go there. You can't travel. And with the CGM, to me, it's the closest to living a normal life with diabetes.